Hello and welcome back to more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Dual Destinies, where in the last episode we finished up the special episode of the game, which was the Turnabout Reclaimed Case, which is technically released after the main game, but I played it. I played it between cases 2 and 3, because that was when I was told it takes place chronologically, and it doesn't seem like anything was spoiled from the main game. I mean, I don't know, but it doesn't seem like they, they didn't make references to things I didn't understand, so it doesn't seem like it was too spoilery, so hopefully it'll be alright. But now we're going to move on to the official third case of the game, which is the fourth case I'm going to be playing for the series, or for this last play, which is Turnabout Academy, so let's get started. Themis Legal Academy, a prestigious high school with alumni in the highest echelons of the legal world. Oh, Thanos showed up. Oh, that's not creepy at all. Oh, that's not creepy at all. Oh, that's not creepy at all. October 24th, 1.25 p.m. Themis Legal Academy. Oh no, I'm gonna be late! Ha! Huh, ha! Huh, phew! Finally! So this is it, the illustrious Themis Legal Academy. This is the place where many distinguished lawyers and prosecutors got their start. When news spread that Mr. Wright had gotten his attorney's badge back, he received a call from the school asking him to pay a visit. Mr. Wright brought us along, hoping we'd learn something from the experience. But no, I had to go and blow up by getting here 30 minutes late. At least it's not all business today. After all, today's their school festival. October 24th, 1.29 p.m. Themis Legal Academy, first floor hallway. Wow, this place is school festival written all over it. Literally! But why all the cold stairs? Is it because everyone's in school uniform except me? Mmm, so about that. I actually, because I have the costume set for this game, I actually gave Athena the, uh, the, the Themes Legal Academy, or, it said, I think it said school uniform or something. It said something about a school uniform, and I figured, well, the name of the case is literally Turnabout Academy, I imagine that's probably gonna be related to the case. So I gave her the costume thinking, well, I, I may as well use the costume since I paid for it. And it feels like this is the best case to use it because it's the tournament academy case. Anyway, yeah, so that line doesn't really work. But what about Mr. Wright and Apollo are? Your attention, please. This is an announcement from the mock trial committee. The mock trial will begin shortly. All students and faculty, please proceed at once to the lecture hall. Thank you. Okay, that's interesting. Sounds like a mock trial is about to start, but where's this lecture hall? Looks like all the students and faculty are heading that way. Might as well join them. Maybe I'll find Mr. Wright and Apollo there. Oh, that's a... Uh, this is a very elaborate mock trial room. This must be the lecture hall. Wow, they spent some serious money. Gee, you don't say. The district court can't even compete. Uh, Phoenix, I guess. Hey, Athena, over here. Damn it. Well, you know what? It could have been either him or Apollo, so I'm gonna I'm gonna assume it was it was Phoenix. Ah, uh, Mr. Wright, Apollo! I've been looking for you two. I'm so sorry I'm late. It's okay. Sorry we couldn't wait for you, but we didn't want to be late for our meeting. Lucky for you, the person we're supposed to meet also seems to be running late. Oh dear. How unprofessional of her to keep visitors to our esteemed institution waiting like this. I shall make it right. I will not. Oh, who do we have here? Oh, right. You haven't been introduced yet. Ah, yes. You must be the young lady Mr. Wright was telling me about. I am Aristotle Means, a professor at this hall, the Hall of Lecturing. I oversee the lawyer course here. It is a pleasure to meet you. I'm Athena Sykes. I just recently got my attorney's badge myself. It's, ni it's nice to meet you, too. How wonderful. So... Vigorous and vivacious. You just earned yourself a gold star. Oh, this guy's creepy. Wow, thanks, that big smile is kinda of scary. Yeah, and no, this guy's this guy's creepy. Looks like the mock trial's about to begin. What are we going to do about our meeting? Oh, speaking of the mock trial, do either of you know what it's about? Oh, but I thought we had sent a pamphlet to your office. 
Right, the pamphlet. Whatever happened to that? You won't be seeing it again. Choose to use it for an old rip it up and restore it trick. Unfortunately, it didn't work as advertised. Well, it seems I had better explain the situation then. Thank you, Professor. Okay. Now, does anyone have any questions? I do, Professor. Can you tell me all about your school? What an excellent question. Here's a gold star for asking. Our academy has three courses to choose from. Students seeking to be lawyers take the lawyer course, likewise. Bottling prosecutors take the prosecutor course, and future judges the judge course. Wow, you have everything here for someone who wants to seriously pursue a, cute, uh, pursue a career in law. I mean, if cr criminal law, sure, but it's not a- Lawyer is a very broad term, like, there's, there's different categories of, like, I, okay. Yes, well, that's what makes our school special, and today even more so. After all, we are treat to be treated as to a lecture by the legendary attorney Phoenix Wright. We can't wait to hear all about his return to the legal profession. So let me get this straight. His return to the legal world is enough to warrant a lecture at a legal academy, but him being disbarred, nah, no, 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 being disbarred. That that that's that's not that's not even good enough for local news. So people like Apollo apparently didn't hear the final details of it, which is bullshit. But you know. That's the last game. We're, th we're talking about this game now. Aha! Yeah, well, I'm just giving them what they want. Huh. Is that, is that supposed to be a way of like, Alright, listen, you little shits. You didn't like the fact that Phoenix was disbarred in the last game? Well, here here you go. He's, he's back in being an attorney. Is this, what you, is this what you wanted? Are you happy now? Which, it's not the fact that he was disbarred that was the problem. It was the circumstances. Because like I said, he could have been disbarred and it could have made sense. It just didn't because the writers just chose not to give a shit and instead destroyed his character. But, you know, that, that's, that's, that, that's, I ranted about that enough in my Apologetics Let's Play. I think you guys are sick of hearing me talk about that game. So let's, let's focus on this game, which is infinitely better so far. Uh, did you even know you were meant to be giving a lecture here today? Yeah, sort of. I came early because I was supposed to have a meeting with the head of the judge course, Constance Court. It's been a whirlwind of a morning, let's see about that. <laughs> Professor Court, she is a wonderful instructor, but quite unpunctual. Oh, so that's who's late. From what I've heard, our esteemed Mr. Wright here is scheduled to hold a training seminar tomorrow in addition to today's lecture. A training seminar for lawyers? What exactly does that involve? Why, it involves the very skills that make a lawyer a lawyer. The arm angle when shouting, OBJECTION! The proper way to strike the podium. How to project one's voice. And most importantly, how to bluff your way to victory. Hum? Uh, who exactly do you want me to teach stuff like that to again? What a wonderful question. You just earned yourself a gold star. This guy's creepy as hell. The great honor of taking a seminar by a famous lawyer and a famous prosecutor. That is what is at stake in this mock trial. The crown jewel of the school festival. The mock trial in question is a prestigious event that every student aspires to win. The top student in the lawyer course, and the top student in the prosecutor course, face off in a simulated court case set in this very school. As for the case itself, we select the best script written by a judge, course student, and our base our case on that. Ooh, a one-on-one -on -one battle, how thrilling! So if the student is suddenly to be a lawyer wins, they get to take my training seminar? What if the other student wins? I'm not a prosecutor, so... There's no cause for alarm. We have a famous prosecutor ready for this good case. Is it gonna be Edgeworth? I think I think it might be Edgeworth. And that makes me very excited that Edgeworth's gonna be here. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, I, I guarantee- Sorry, it's, it's gonna be one of either two- It's gonna be either Edgeworth or gonna be Von Karma. Either way, I'm totally fine with it. Because they're both awesome choices. There's, there's no one else it could be. I, I thought maybe it could be Godot, and then I'm like, Oh wait, Godot's kind of, uh... Not around anymore. Uh, I-, I if they wanted to be a, if it wanted to be a joke, it could be uh, Gaspin Payne. I would laugh so hard if it was Gaspin Payne. But it, let's be, it's it's gonna be either Edgeworth or Francisca. I'm I'm gonna bet it's gonna be Edgeworth. Though. I, out of the two, it makes more sense to be Edgeworth. But I'd be fine with either anyway. But exactly who it is? Well, that is a special surprise. A famous prosecutor? No, it, it can't be. Uh, who? Oh, it's you from the first case. Uh, I'm Juniper Woods, a senior in the judge course. Professor, the, the trial will begin shortly, since you'll be delivering the pre-trial speech. Would you mind waiting up on the balcony until we're ready for you? My, how very organized you are, Juniper. You just earned yourself a gold star, too. But what about Professor Court? Well, I suppose she'll eventually arrive. Now then, I trust you will look after our visitors, Juniper? Yes, of course, Professor Means. Juniper, Juniper? Juniper Woods? Is that you? Hmm? 
Th Athena, I almost didn't recognize you. I didn't know you were back from Europe. Wait, you should know each other. That's a coincidence. You know, just since we were kids, we're like best friends, right, Junie? Yes, well, we live close to each other, so we used to play in the forest together. Yeah, like a, like a lot a lot. Why won't she look at me? I guess that shouldn't be a surprise since we haven't seen each other in a long time. Anyway, we're supposed to go wait in the... I honestly forgot you were even here. Not that I wouldn't mind taking the mock trial you're putting on today. Unfortunately, the mock trial is only for students and faculty. There's one seat reserved for Mr. Wright, but no other exceptions are allowed. Yes, I'm very sorry, but it is part of the student curriculum after all. I hope you won't mind remaining in the waiting room until the trial concludes. Oh, that's too bad. I was hoping to learn something new today. Yeah, you got a lot to learn, buddy, but nope. We're gonna keep you as the useless rut that you are. Tell you what, Apollo, why don't you take my pla- I- 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 But- 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 Like, what if we- What- What- What if we- I got a better idea. What- What if we didn't do that? What? Really? Sure, besides, I'd like to meet with Professor Cord as soon as she gets here. Oh, no fair, I wanna see the mock trial, too! So I'm gonna let Apollo pull what little rank he has, if it's okay with Professor Means. But of course, Mr. Wright, if that is what you wish. It's still then. We'll expect a full and detailed report, Apollo, so pay attention. Just being the new kid sure stinks. If you would please follow me, I'll escort you down to the waiting room on the first floor. October 24th, 2.50pm, Theme Slater Academy, first floor waiting area. Or waiting room. Still in press record, it's been over 30 minutes, and Mr. Wright's doozing away on the sofa. This is so boring, I should have hidden the lecture hall in spite of the mock trial. What, what, what was that? October 24th, Theme Slater Academy, first floor hallway. <sighs> Theta. I could have sworn I just heard something fall down and break. If you go running now, I'll think it was you. Well, it wasn't me. I think it came from somewhere outside. Oh, well, I'm better have a look, seeing as everyone else is in the lecture hall. Okay. October 24th, Theme Slater Academy, out, outdoor stage. Is this stage for some kind of concert? Kind of reminds me of a courtroom. Wait, Athena, behind the witness stand. What? Ah. Uh... Professor Court, can you hear me, Professor? Wait, that's... That's who we were supposed to be meeting with? It looks like our meeting's been canceled for us. Gee, you don't say. No way, this, this can't be real! And we're already off to a great start. I call the police, they should be here soon. I'll go to everyone in the lecture hall too. No, wait, they'll find out soon enough once the police get here. Let's do our own crimes investigation before it gets too crowded around here. Huh? Are we even allowed to do this? <laughs> Clearly you must be new at this, cause uh, you must not be familiar with how things roll around here in the, in the world of Ace Attorney. It's no big deal as long as we leave it exactly like we found it. Plus, oh, never mind. Anyway, we should look around while the scene's still fresh. But, uh, okay, you're the boss. Okay, well, first things first, let's, I guess, take a look around. And we well we can't we can see diddly do right here, so let's actually get a look at the body. If we can there we go. The first thing that I noticed and we didn't really pay any attention to is um the book right here. Nope, nope, not there. Here. What do we have here? A book? Guessing it fell out of her chest pocket. Wait, what if it's a diary? It's the most private thing a girl has. True, but considering the situation at hand, I apologize to the late Professor Cord. No, don't! Okay, it looks more like a planner than a diary. Every page seems to have the same sword mark printed in it, on it at that. I, think, I still think a girl deserves her privacy, but this may help us solve the case. Court's planner added to the court record. Okay, well that's that's the only thing that no, that no, that caught me. Oh, actually, wait, no, there's one more thing. This right here. Some marks around her wrists. Notice anything strange about the body? Take a deep breath and take a good look. Uh, well now you mentioned there's no blood around it, yet the victim's body is cold and rigor mortis has already started to dissipate. It would appear that quite some time has passed since Professor Court was murdered. Murdered? Mord- Ugh, I did it again, murdered. Thing is, the quad was packed with students until the start of the mock trial. Wait, is that- doesn't mean- doesn't mean she was killed at a different location? Oh, I know! The killer moved the body here while everyone was in the lecture hall! That's a definite possibility. Notice anything else? Uh, her arms are raised over her head and there are dark bruises around her wrists. Yeah, the presser was probably tied up with something. Eventually her wrists were unbound and as she reached up to the stretch she was killed? So I'm not so sure about. Well, it's not, not exactly how hard to go on. And then I guess we should probably take a look at the the arrow itself. If I 
Can't. <laughs> Ugh, there's an, there's an arrow stuck in her side. Gunshot wounds and stab wounds are pretty common, but arrow wounds? This is a homicide anyway, slice it. In other words, we have a murder on our hands. A murder? Here? So that makes this arrow the murder weapon. Well, that and the bullet shot it. Right, but where could the killer have shot her from? The stage is a sea of obstructions. I'm no expert at archery, but it can't be easy to hit a target with this much stuff around. Would it be possible Would it be possible to kill someone by stabbing them with an arrow? Uh, yes. Just, just yeah, that, that, yes, I should, if, if budget cuts two has taught me anything, it's that, yes, that's definitely possible. I'm not sure, guess we better do some more investigating before jumping to conclusions. Error added to the court record. Okay, well, that's about all I got. I think, I think it's about all we're gonna find out from the body for now. Nice work, Athena. Your face only turned five shades of pale, I was expecting. Is that a Fifty Shades of Grey reference? That better not be a Fifty Shades of Grey reference right there, game. We're gonna have some problems if that was a Fifty Shades of Grey reference. Okay, that's... Mm. We should probably take a picture of the crime scene just in case. Okay, I'm on it! Say cheese! That's... That, that is a thing you can say in this situation. Jeez, I thought I was the only one with a twisted sense of humor. I think that should do it. Alright, let's take a better look around the area while we wait for the police to arrive. This pile of rubber sticks out like a sore thumb. It's like a broken pottery of plaster. Maybe this is the source of that noise we heard. Hmm. There's supposed like two statues in the stage. I seem to recall hearing that his co-ed from the fine art club had made them. There were two? And that thing over there is the remains of another statue? This could be a related to the case. Let's take a closer look. So this is was left over from the that was not left over from the statue. Is this was over from the statue. Can we? Oh no, oh, no, I can't look at that either. Well, this is a statue, so it must be this right here that was left over from it. It's something buried in the rubble. The the famous herald. Wait, we shouldn't disturb it. Let's just read what we can. So I definitely didn't click on the thing. I clicked on the paper. Final act in toward love triangle. Toward love triangle centered on campus. She devil juniper woods. Level-headed lawyer, of course, genius, and hot-blooded prosecutor, of course, student, will go head-to-head -head in a mock trial battle for the She-Devil's Black Heart. Wait, what, what, wait, what was the last thing? I didn't, I didn't read the last thing. Hold on. Wait. Who was declared he will confess to her if he went- Wait a minute, wait, 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 hold on. I need to read a second time. I need to wrap my hand around this. To a love triangle, okay. Level, lawyer, and genius. Okay. Wow. That's- Ooh, alright then. You find that more shocking than discovering a murder victim's body? But, but, but we're talking about my friend Junie here! She never leads guys on like that! Athena, you don't bully everything you read, do you? I thought it goes clear in with malicious intent, not buying a word of it. You're right, but it's still disturbing even if it's third rate tabloid material. Themes Herald. Athena's Herald added to the court record. Okay. So what else can we look at? Is there any. I can. Wait, there's an option to examine something? No, there isn't. Is there anything. I guess I can examine this, I guess. Wonder what this is a statue of. Whatever it was, it was a reddish purple color. When Apollo and I first got here, both statues were already here, but they were covered up. I bet they were waiting to unveil them when the school festival had moved into the stage. You mean this double bag looking thing was actually being used to cover the statues? I guess that just leaves the question, were they broken by accident or on purpose? Hmm, what a puzzle this is. Uh, Apollo, I'm guessing. Oh, here comes Apollo, I've never seen anyone move so fast. Ha, <sighs> ha, listen, something big's happened. I was at the mock trial when the police announced the body had been found on campus. That's right, and, we, and we're the ones who phoned it in. We found Professor Cord behind the witness stand over there. Whoa, 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 what? Can you show me? Please, please, Mr. Wright, show me a dead body. I so desperately want to see it because my name's Apollo Justice and I'm just a shithead in every degree. What the? We've already, we've already had a quick look at the body. It's definitely a homicide. Once the police get here... No, I know it's a homicide. I'm joking because it's the same. Exactly the same. Come again? Whoa there, Paul. Take a deep breath and explain what you mean. It's the same. That body, that is. It's just like how it was in the mock trial. Oh, boy. What? It's like the mock trial? I know, it sounds crazy, but, 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 but. The body's location and position, the murder weapon, the lack of pooling blood. It's all exactly like the mock trial. You're kidding, right? It can't really all be the same, can it? I hope this game isn't about to do the same stupid thing that Turner Out Serenade did with the Oh, the murder was plotted by following the lyrics of the song! <laughs> because that makes perfect logical sense! Except no, it didn't make no sense at all. 
The whole school's in an uproar. There won't be any more classes today. A murder on campus. That's the last thing I expected at a legal academy. I'll go tell Professor Means what we observe when we discover the body. You two wait here until you've spoken with the police. Yes, boss. Yeah, yes, boss. <sighs> now I'm stuck with Captain Shithead again. I can't believe this is happening. Yeah, I can't believe it either. I really didn't want to have to be stuck with you, of all people. I can't believe I have to wait around here. I can't stay still at times like these. I hope Junie hasn't fainted from the shock of the whole thing. Uh, Athena, I mean, Athena. There you are. Junie, am I glad to see you? I was worried about that. Don't worry about me. I am student council president after all. I need to be strong. Student council president? Well, I'm impressed. She's really changed. She used to be kind of sickly and shy. Used to be. Juniper, Juniper, was it? Not if we ask you a few questions. Yeah, we're stuck here waiting for the police. There's not really much to do. Sure, what would you like to know? Uh, a lot of stuff, actually, starting with... You, apparently. I haven't seen you in ages, Junie. What's it been, seven years or so? Yes, and I remember how you were always there for me, Athena. Um, it was just me, but I wanted to ask you why you seem so distant. Remember how you used to call me Athena? I liked it better that way. I felt like we were sisters, you know? Yes, but I'm student council president now, and as a student representative of Athena's Legal Academy, I have to act properly. She was never this stiff and formal before. I never knew you, I knew you wanted to be a judge, but I didn't expect this. It's such a proceed to school, and you're in the judge course to boot. Yes, and Professor Court had been in charge of it until... Well, you know. Oh, right. Professor Court was the professor in charge of Junie's course. What sort of teacher was Professor Court? If I had to sum her up in a single word, I'd say she was... Amazing. A judge must always seek the truth. That was her mantra. She used it in trying to fix what was wrong with her school. She was a beacon of hope in this dark age of the law. They keep bringing up this dark age of the law thing. What's wrong with the school? What did you mean by that? Oh, what? Nothing. Never mind. Am I imagining things, or did I just detect something in Junie's voice? Professor Court chose my script for the mock trial. Oh? You mean of all the students in the judge course that I had to submit a script? And yours was the one she selected? Well, that's amazing, Junie. Oh, thank you, but now Professor Court is... Who would do such a thing? Just yesterday we were working together trying to get things ready. Excuse me. Are you alright, Junie? Maybe you should take it easy for a while. So she's still got that cough. Yes, she's not as strong as she pretends to be. Why do you need a script in a showdown between a lawyer and a prosecutor? Well, we were simulating a trial, so we needed a script this framework. All the details about the incident and the people involved are included in the script. We're also prepared a crime scene, photos, and murder weapon, and other kinds of evidence. Wow, you guys think of everything. Must be hard getting all that ready. Yes, well, it's only Professor Cord and I. After all, we didn't want the script or other elements of the mock trial to get leaked. We were the only ones in the entire school who knew all the details. Must have been a big- Must have been a big taint in the- I mean, must have been really difficult. I wrote the, the script so that the case could go either way. That way, the defense and the prosecution both have an equal chance of winning. That's... really hard. To, cr to, to craft a case with evidence that could build to support both the prosecution and the defense's claim? That's... an in almost insurmountable task. Huh? Who said that? Oh. It's the other two people from the... from the newspaper. One of which is definitely a pretentious prick, like, a not unlike that of... I don't even remember his name. The, the, the guy who stole Trucy's panties from Turnabout Corner, where he, like, slapped his book with a stupid graduation ta tassel, all that nonsense. That, that's that guy, except in, with a much longer, uh, thing draping from his head. And then this guy looks like he's ready to blow a gasket at, every, at any opportunity. I, I can't give you guys voices yet. I don't know who's speaking. I, I mean, I, no, I can give them voices, but not until I know who's saying what. Uh, I think I found a rival to my cords of steel. Hugh, Robin, aren't you going to introduce yourselves to our guests? As student council president, I won't have you treating them rudely. Heh, <laughs> you're right. I heard Mr. Wright was bringing a couple of guests with him. That would be you two, Apollo Justice and Athena Sykes. Yup, I'm Athena Sykes. And I'm Apollo Justice, nice to meet you. I'll pass on the handshake. I'm starting to be a lawyer. My name's Hugh O'Connor. But some call me Mr. Perfect because I never score less than 100% on tests. Oh, you're gonna be a delight. Ah, uh, most pretentious introduction ever. And what, what's with his hand? Is it glued to the inside of his pocket or what? Yeesh. Oh, let me be the first to apologize for Hugh's totally rude introduction. Sorry! 
this guy's gonna already be a pain. There's my intro! I'm Robin Newman! I'm starting to be a prosecutor, like the really cool guy that nails the bad guys! No! Where's the sincerity? So he makes so he makes pottery too, and what's that brace like contraption for? Junie sure has made some unusual friends. These two were the lawyer and the prosecutor in today's mock trial, and even though I wrote the script, I also played the part of the defendant. Final act in Torrid Love Triangle Center on campus, She Devil Juniper Woods. Level headed lawyer, course genius, and hopeless prosecutor, course student will go head to head in the mock trial battle for the She Devil's Black Heart. Wait, these two are the guys who supposedly have a thing for Junior? Yeah, yeah, you couldn't have figured that out already. Even if not by just looking at them and then comparing it to what was in the newspaper, their sheer behavior should have told you that immediately. <laughs> Juniper, come on, your role's way beyond just that. That's right, the mock trial is just the start. You also want the school festival's main event. Live on stage, Jennifer Woods, and the crowd goes bananas. Woo! I don't, I, 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 I don't want to yell because number one, it's gonna kill my throat, and number one, it's also gonna be an annoyance to everybody watching. But I, I also want to communicate that easily, so I, I just lean back from my chair and strain my throat to make it seem like I'm being really loud. So it's, it's the best of both worlds. I'm supposed to sing at the school fest. You? Oh boy. That's gonna be fun. All the other girls were too embarrassed to try out, so... My Junie's singing? On stage in front of people? Wow, she really has changed. I was responsible for making everyone stage costumes. <sighs> that looks... annoyingly familiar to Lamoir's costume from the last game, and I don't like it. This is what I'll be wearing. That's amazing, Junie! But then again, you were always good at that kind of thing. These, con these constellations in particular are really something. Oh, uh, thank you. One of my favorite things to do is look up at the stars in the middle of the forest. Huh, so you're a fan of the night sky then? Wow, Paul, didn't know you were such a romantic. I it's not like that. I had this friend, he and I go way back, who got me really interested in space, 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 cookie, space. Extra, extra 10 bonus points if you get, if you understand that reference. Wait, you had friends when you were- Yeah. <laughs> for the second time in these past two tries. It's like they know that nobody likes Apollo, so they're just like, all right, every character needs to insult the shit out of him. Oh my god, that's amazing. Apollo, you had friends, that's the thing, because I was gonna make that joke. If Athena didn't make it first, I was gonna be, I was gonna make that joke. Oh, oh my god, that was amazing. That's incredible. Student Council President, I cannot allow such means for a teasing to continue. Oh, come on, it's Apollo Justice, he deserves it. He, I think she's angry. Sage costume adds to the court record. I can't believe she actually said that. Guys, this was no problem, but as far as singing, I'm not sure I- No, you can't do it! That's right, anyone who says otherwise will have to answer to me. It's like a chivalrous love triangle, a damsel in distress and two knights in shining armor. Maybe the theme of Sahara Largo wasn't too much far from the truth. Let's read the latest news. I wonder how the mock trial turned out. I guess we're gonna find out in a second. So, uh, how did the mock trial end? I'm just about to reach a verdict when the police arrived. Now we'll never know how it would have turned out. I guess that's what happens when there's a real murder during a fake murder trial. In the right before the verdict, talk about bad timing. I was this close, man! I bet I would have won! But I bet the defense wasn't doing too badly either, right? Oh god, he is just like the guy from Turnabout Corner. We'll settle this some other time, and I assure you, I will win when that time comes. Like, I'm gonna let that happen, I don't think so! Nope, oh, nope, didn't wanna hit that button. I hope they don't even end up hurting each other. Oh, don't worry, three of us have been good friends since we were enrolled here. Heh, <laughs> we even have proof of our friendship. Proof? Like physical evidence proof? Yes, we're studying for a career in law, I think legal world evidence is everything. Yeah, I got that, that's been beaten down, beaten up, I've been beating over the head with, I've been beating, something, you've been beating me over the head with the whole evidence is everything for the past two games now. Ah, the famed, famous Legal Academy Ingenuity at work. So, what exactly is this proof of friendship anyway? Well, it's a secret, and if I show you, it would be bad luck. Oh, okay. I knew it, there's definitely some discord in Junie's voice. Our friendship is sacred and inviolable. It's not something to be put cheaply on display. Proof? We don't need no secret proof! Us three are friends forever! I can hear Discord in their voices too. 
but they're talking about their friendship. What's going on here? Something's wrong, it's something wrong, Athena? No, no, it's it's nothing. Oh. Alright then. Hey, isn't that Uh who's it gonna be? Ah! Good old Detective Fulbright. Detective Fulbright, is something wrong? Why, but it's my little lawyer friend! Sorry, but the small talk will have to wait. Do you know my words? You're under arrest for but oh yeah, well, huh? What? I'm what? Wait a second, what's going on here? Why are you arresting Junie? Please, Detective Fulbright, we're involved in this case too. Ah, ah, ah. so you have the lawyers for the best practice that were first on the scene. I can't tell you everything, but I will say this. There are two major reasons for her arrest. Number one, a suspect led somewhere. That, wait, wait a minute, hold it, wait. A suspect led somebody to where the body was. Uh, I, I didn't. Now, number two, the crime scene is exactly how the suspect portrayed in her script. But, 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 you can't arrest her on just those grounds. True, but there's more. But wait, there's more. However, Prosecutor Blackwell specifically told me to say no one. Excuse me, no more than that. So Blackwell's a prosecuting attorney in this one, too, of course he is. Talk to Fulbright, we're friendless in the suspect's pocket. Hmm? Why, why, there's, there's blood on this! Well, that, that's evidence we made for the mock trial! A mock trial? Never heard of such a thing! Sounds fishy to me, real fishy! Now, you would, officers! Yes, sir! But, but, but I... Junie, I have to do something! I, I can't let her take him away! Take that, that, be bad, but words are hard! Now, nah, excuse me, I have work to do! Let me, let me guess, now, dipshit and dipshit 2.0. That she's the killer! Junie! I've decided. I'm going to defend you. I'll fight with everything I've got. Nina. Oh. Junie, it's good to hear you say that name again. Nah. I can already tell this case is gonna start pulling on my heartstrings. Hey, to interrupt your bonding time, but I knew you rather needed all this. You're barely even a lawyer. Well, I don't have much experience. I may need Apollo, Mr. Wright's help at times, but nobody believes in Junie as much as I do. I love you too, Juniper. There's no way you murdered your professor. Christina, Apollo, thank you both. I'm counting on you. We've got your back, Junie. I guess things work out after all. Now that you have your lawyers, Miss Woods, it's time for us to head back to the station. I can't believe Junie's been arrested for murder. I can't believe I accepted her case without asking Mr. Wright. I I I, I doubt he'll have a problem with it. Oh, the, the 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 Phoenix from the Phoenix. The Phoenix from the last game might have a problem with it, but the Phoenix we have now will not have a problem with it. Take a deep breath and relax, Athena. I'm here to help with whatever you need, so let's get right on the case. Right! Heh, I won't have this case left in the hands of rank amateurs. If anyone's gonna solve this case, it'll be me. Time to investigate. Oh dear god. Well, that smug little he hasn't even finished law school. Yeah, that was totally rude. Now you're not the only one in the case, man. I'm in two big time. Shoot number one. Oh dear God. Now that those two are gone, let's get back to what I was talking about in front of the stage about the mock trial. That is. Oh right, you said the victim's location, position, and so on were just like in the script. Exactly, but without the script or any props, it's kind of hard to explain. Who? No. Fuck off. Right the hell off! Oh my god, this piece of shit's back! Don't play this, you're playing this stupid music too. Of all the people on the. And this is the famous prosecutor you got? This piece of shit right here! Oh my god, f right, f right the hell off with this dumbass. God. We were out! We were done! We were gone! That's it! No more! We, we said goodbye to Apollo Justice Attorney! We said goodbye to the dumbass characters in that game, and then this guy decides to stroll up out of nowhere like, Heh <laughs> heh, psych! You thought you were- thought you were rid of me, did you? Well, that's where you're wrong, kiddo! Oh my- Really? Of all people, you? Ugh. <sighs> <sighs> I'm so happy he's back. I can't wait to hear what's been going on in his life. You just seem to know each other. Is someone going to introduce me? But I didn't really be the first to see you. Greetings, Fortnite. I am Kevin O'Gavin. Some no means of rescue, but most of it's my former rock band. We were quite popular, you know, but regrettably the band went kaput. 
Bit of superior to this. The Gavin News, I was the lead vocalist. Never heard of your band. Then again, I was out of your country until only recently. But can I get your autograph? I. You just met him like three seconds ago, and you want his autograph? Forgive me, Fortnite, but I'm retired from the music biz. But I'd be happy to open my autograph as Rockstar Prosecutor or Gavin. or Gavin. Oh, okay, that one then. She's a lively one here, oh, forehead. Didn't know she was your type. She's the newest member of Rite Aid in the agency, that's all. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, I'm Athena Sykes. A pleasure to meet you too, Athena Sykes. Now that the entrance are out of the way, I'm sure you have some questions for me, Jai, or forehead? Oh my god. Yeah, why are you here? Why the hell are you here? Why the hell do the writers, the, the writer, what, what what happened here is, is when the writers were taking out the trash one day at the office. They, they found him in there. They found him with the trash can. And and someone, someone had it in their hearts. They're like, we can't throw him away. We've already thrown away all the other trash characters. We got to keep one. We got to keep one trash character. So then they pick him and, and he's like, oh, thank you. I've been given the chance to make everyone else hate me that didn't already hate me. So now he's back for more. Ugh. Could have brought back Edgeworth, could have brought back Francisca Von Karma, could have even brought back Gaspin Payne as a funny joke, and you instead choose to bring back Clavier Gavin. Why? Of all the people in the world, you pick that guy. <sighs> and you for the same reason as your boss, give a lecture in a training seminar. So he's the famous prosecutor in the Oh, figure that all on your own, did ya? And I have another crucial role to play. The Gavin News is getting back together for one special. Oh, I. Oh, I. I swear, if we have to see another fucking concert video 8 million goddamn times, I'm, I'm just gonna quit. I'm gonna uninstall Dual Destinies and then uninstall Spirit of Justice. I. And I'm also gonna retract. I'm also gonna uninstall every other game because that's just gonna be like. Oh. God. The amount of times they played that stupid concert video in the last game was just. It's fine, it's fine, it's a new game. New game, new opportunity. Even though you were guys disbanded, which was a shame by the way, really. John, I know how much you throw it on music here, forehead. Anyway, I said he brought in Germany to get my dad Germany, but I did graduate from here. Wait, so that performance, wait, so the performance Judy mentioned, once you represented was selected to sing with us on stage. And the stage is supposed to look like this tomorrow. Two three bears and a pair of wicked statues. This is just an illustration, but it's not that bad. Wicked statues? When he's supposed to be you and Mr. Wright? Bingo for nine. And they were so big and magnificent too. What a terrible waste. But the worst part of the whole thing is, a long way to reunion with my mentor never came to pass. Wait, don't tell me your mentor was. Professor Coach, she was the one who taught me how to think about the law. So Constance Court was your professor here at the academy. She may have taught the judge course, but she had a huge impact on me. She was fond of saying he and his only justified through proper means. She wouldn't tell her dishonesty how it was revered when which, which was right above all else. I can feel Prosecutor Gavin's sadness. Oh no, I think I'm gonna cry. Athena, are you tearing up? Thought I, I can't blame you. Prosecutor Gavin knows a lot of who he is to Professor Court. So it's her I have to blame. Exactly, so as you can see, we are both doing purpose to speak, Ja? Yeah, let's rock this place hard. Huh? I don't follow, let's rock what? For get away your forehead, I said I'd help you explain the luck trial. We're going to reprise it here and here in the lecture hall. My help us catch your killer. October 24th, Themes Legal Academy, 33, third floor lecture hall. Mock trial reenactment. Alright. Red stage is ready, and you are forehead ready to rock? Oh, no. Um, no, the defense is not ready to rock. Did, did everybody love Clavier so much that they had to drag him out of the trash can they found him in, dump him back into the game, and then put him facing off against Apollo Justice? Did we really miss this that much? Because I gotta admit, I, I didn't miss this even one bit. You said the actual much harder to you, right? Just an actual do fine. Besides, we have the script right here. Junie's masterpiece? The one everyone's been talking about? Yeah, and there's only one in existence. I borrowed it, if you will. Now, yeah, Fortnite, we need you to play the part of the defendant and judge has put the script. Okay, got it! I've only read the case outline so far. I don't know how I actually turns out, so I'll treat it like I'm prosecuting a real case. You, yeah, Fortnite, will play the part of a professional lawyer. I really, you were born to play! <laughs> the evidence is also here with us. We also have everything we need to prepare as the luck trial. Très bien, let's get started! Defendant slash judge Thea Slice is psyched and ready to rock! The court is now in session for our reenactment of the mock trial. 
or what I like to call the Mock Mock Trial. Mock 2. The Mock 2 Trial. Ja, double mockery pass for the trail to the trial. Action, baby. It's no holds barred. Let's rock. Ah, uh, can we take it easy today? It may just be a mock of a mock, but there's only one way to compete. You play to win. So remember, each time I catch you slacking off, I'm holding you in a contempt of court. Great, I judge that voices her own objections and abuses her judicial powers. Okay. Now then, Prosecutor Gavin, your opening statement, if you please. You get it, Fortnite Judge. A case is set in this school very much like this one. The victim is a, press, a professor female. Defendant, an archery club member, also female. Oh me, oh my, I'm innocent, innocent, I tell you. That's some seriously bad acting, Fortnite. Anyway, the victim's body was discovered in the middle of the squad. Here's a shot of the crime scene. Ironically, it was Prince Accord who posted the corpse. Your forehead, and the mock trail of participants reacted to this photo. Miss Newman was surprised by what Professor Court was wearing. He reacted with, Oh, the green sweatsuit. It's not like, it's not like what I would pick to focus on, so why would he care about that? Uh, too much of a fidgeting to know what's important in that one. In any case, both of the mock trail and the actual case, Professor Court was wearing a sweatsuit. We went along. Hey, wait a sec! The body was discovered in the same area as the mock case, although there was a stage. Plus, the murder weapon and arrow and the lack of blood are also the same. That's right, there is a significance to this mock mock trial. Let's keep rocking it hard just like that. For the crime occurred, the defendant was to meet with the victim in the quad. Um, huh, let, let's see here. When I arrived at our meeting place, I found the professor with an arrow in her stomach. But, it wasn't me, I didn't kill her. You don't have to ham it up like that, Athena. It's cool getting into character here for it. Don't be such a wet blanket. Right, um, let's see. Oh yeah, then Hugh said... A frail co used her bare hands to stab her professor with an arrow? I don't think so. At the time of the murder, a male student was seen holding a bow in the archery club room, which has a clear view of the quad. He shot the arrow into the victim before my client even got there. Hey, <laughs> knife, near forehead. The fiend's not gonna suit you in the least. Order, 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 especially you, Mr. Justice. Me, but I was just trying to get it into it like the Mr. Your Rocker said. So, the victim was shot from the archery club room before the meeting even took place. Hence, the defendant could not be the killer. This seems to be the defense's assertion. Prosecutor Gavin, do you have any objections? The yeah, autopsy report notes that the edges of the victim were, were unusually ragged. Could such physical trauma possibly result from an arrow shot from a bow? Nah. I believe the victim was impaired with an arrow by hand post mortem. In short, the real murder weapon was not the arrow at all. When Robin was a prosecutor, he had a tough time determining the real murder weapon. Well, it's just a student of Wolverpack, while I am the real devil, the headliner, so to speak. The true murder weapon was most likely the all that was in the art room. An all? What's that? I mean, hmm, an all, you say? What might that be? It's just, it's kind of so used to poking holes in paper and other materials. It's kind of like an ice pick. I have fun if you're interested. Girl, it's all bloody up to the handle. Please just tell me it's just paint. This is like the Fernand. Pretty realistic, ja? That's a plan for your blood for now. The defendant's prints were lifted from the murder weapon. Furthermore, traces of the victim's blood were discovered in the art room. That's where I believe the murder actually took place. So the question now is, how'd the body get from the art room to the stage? The murder took place in the third floor art room, but the body was found in the quad. It must have been quite a chore moving the body all that way. Not at all, it's a maintenance area in the storehouse right outside the art room. And a car used to carry balls around was found there. Oh, I think I've seen one of those before, but that's a pretty big one. A jumbo, ja? Bring it to fit a person or a body in it. The defendant dropped the body from the art room window and moved it with the cart. That's how a high school girl could easily move a body all by herself. You, you don't say! Objection. A body dropped from these three stories up would show signs of massive blunt force trauma. That may be true, but... The defendant would camp for the large high jump mat in the storehouse. A body dropped from such a mat would show no signs of blunt force trauma. Yikes, it's almost scary how similar this whole case is to mock... To the mock... To the mock... To the mock... To the mock... Mock travel seatings. We had to craft the killer and attempt to cast suspicion on the archery club. The move of the body of the club room would be an easy shot for the club room. Then the killer faked the murder weapon by inserting an arrow into the Earl's stab room. Sounds like he sounds like he has, has only high praise of Junior's script. Were there any further arguments in the defense? Nope, seems like the teacher who was playing the judge was satisfied too. Take the finale then, your verdict if you please, for hand judge. Huh? Alright, that's me. Very well, of course, when the defendant Juniper Woods. Wait a second, even if it's just a mock trial, a mock trial. I don't want to declare Juni guilty, also, didn't it? Wasn't it stopped before a verdict could have been reached? Yeah, but this is not such a good idea. Let's end a mock trial, trial here. 
This is about time to get back to my investigation. Thanks, you two. A little run through of the mock trial cleaned up quite a few things. Mock trial script added to the court record. That's it, baby. The prosecution's already got a witness size up, too. That was quick. Prosecutor Black was almost too good. You were sure in a helpful mood today, Prosecutor Gavin. Well, like I said, it's really catch you over here, Press and Court. It's the reason for me to start putting heads with you two. Anyway, we'll see goodbye. I'm sure I'll be seeing you later. Ah, oh, God, I hope not. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. No, I, I didn't want you here in the first place. Go to Reddins. I always thought prosecutors were all a rather scary bunch. Prosecutor Gavin seems pretty nice. Yeah, he gave us 20% off uh, concert tickets, and Paul still hated him anyway. We should get back to investigating, too. We don't have nearly enough information yet. And we also have to tell Mr. Wright we accepted Junie's case. Right, looks like we have our work cut out for us. All right, well, first let's get out of here. Gonna move back to the hallway from here. Tower 24 teams Little Academy first hallway. Ah, uh, Mr. Wright! Oh, this guy again. I heard they arrested your friend Juniper. Yeah, I think before I just took her in. I refuse to believe that one of our students is capable of murder. We must prove her innocent by any means necessary. The end justifies the means. What do you mean the end justifies the means? I, Professor Means, always say what I mean and mean what I say by all means. Here at our esteemed academy, we train our students to produce meaningful results. You believe in Juniper's innocence, do you not? Of course I do. Junior wouldn't even hurt a fly. Precisely. We have justice on our side. The only other thing we need are results. It is the height of folly to endanger your client by following to pursue all means necessary or possible. Uh, sure I want to prove her innocence, but I don't like the sound of that the end justifies the means part. Well, you're still young and idealistic. It's no wonder you fail to see the wisdom therein. There's but one thing to do now. I must personally take up Juniper's defense. You're going to take her case, Professor Means? I may be a professor, but I'm still licensed to practice law. In fact, I've even battled Professor Court in... Well, court. No kidding, so you guys are rivals or something. No, nothing of the sort. She was an esteemed colleague of the academy and in court. You see, both Professor Court and I graduated from this academy at the top of our class. Wow, I bet I, bu I bet they both used to really bring it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I best go discuss the case of Juniper. First means, please wait, I didn't want to say anything, but Apollo and I already agreed to take her case. It's true, Juniper is counting on us to prove her innocence. Really, now? You two. And when were you planning on telling me? Uh, literally right now, I'm pretty sure. S sorry, boss. I know you should have asked first, but haha, <laughs> relax. Your fruit just hauled away in front of your eyes. Sometimes you have to just have to make snap decisions, and I think you made the right one. How wonderful. Very well, Athena Sykes. Let me ask you just one thing. As a lawyer, what is it that you treasure beyond all else? Heh, <laughs> Athena's one professor, seeking justice for my clients. What a wonderful answer. Juniper must be overjoyed to have a friend such as you. As a professor, I too shall do whatever I may to help her. Yeah, so we're just gonna make a prediction right now. This guy's probably the killer, and he wants to take up the case to defend Juniper because he knows he's gonna give he he will because he wants to give her an intentionally shabby defense so that he gets away scot free. Probably. And if you decide to take the den justifies the mean strategy, come see me at once. Let's hope it never comes to that. Now, if you would excuse me. Okay, have a nice day. Well, time's wasting. You better start investigating it fast. First time I tell you everything I know so far. Yes, please. Okay, so let's... What do you know? Have you heard learned anything new about the case? Actually, I ran into Prosecutor Gavin, and he told me something interesting. Seems that the murder took place in the art room. There's trace of a large pool of blood there. So police believe the body was moved from there to the stage. What? Really? Just like the mock trial again? Police are searching the art room, but whether they'll find anything, well... Well, what? Come to think of it. Let's do our own crime scene investigation before it gets too crowded around here. Huh? Are we even allowed to do that? It's no big deal, as long as we leave it exactly like we found it. Plus, no, never mind. Now, where was I again? I wanted you to find out for yourselves. So, were you shocked by your conversation with Professor Means? Oh, I, I guess so. Actually, that was pretty shocking. The Dark Age of the Law. I'm sure you've heard those words before. Sure, a number of times. Prosecutors file false charges and lawyers fight back by fabricating evidence. There's a lot of that going around these days. But the question is, how is it related to the case at hand? Training students to produce results. That is the school's policy. Oh, so this school is the source of a, a, a bunch of corrupt prosecutors and defense attorneys? Well, that in itself isn't a bad thing. Right, as long as the results come by fair and honest means. Oh, but what was it that Professor Means said? The end justifies the means? To survive the dark age of the law, you must use any means necessary. 
Fabrication of evidence and false charges are unavoidable in that quest for results. That's what they're preaching here at Themes Legal Academy. But, but what'll happen to our legal system if results are all that matter anymore? Haha, <laughs> relax, it's just a rumor. I take it with a grain of salt if I were you. I guarantee you it's gonna be the key to this entire game. Well, that's really, he had to go in there for a minute. Wait a second, what did Mr. Wright exi ex examine the victim's body for a reason? I think he was worried someone might actually tamper with the evidence. I think that wraps up what I know so far. The fact that this case closely resembles Mr. Wood's script is obviously important. Knowing that, you should probably try and identify what's the same and what's different. Okay, I'll try talking to as many people as I can on campus. Alright then. Nice chat. So, I guess we can head back to the scene of the crime. October 24th, Leeds Legal Academy, outdoor stage. I thought the area was cordoned off. Hey, the police are discussing something over there. Why oh, no? I'll just quietly listen and go over for a lesson. Here goes. Ah, Adina, watch where you're. What the? It's just a box? It's just a random box here. Ouch! Who put the stupid box here? Wait. Eh? Apollo, this box, there's. Well, what now? There's some under. Oh, something inside. Don't let it be a snake! What the? He swore on just like What the? There really is someone inside. That someone is me, Miss Miriam Scuttlebutt. And I'm a senior in the judge course. Well, what's with the box? It's the fate of we who live in sh shadows. There's a very good reason why none may see the my face by the light of day. Wait, if you're taking the judge course, did you write a did you write a mock trial script too? S you really want me to see my script that bad? Well, you better watch out. Read it without my permission, and you'll wish you hadn't. Who cares? I'm sure it was rejected for a good reason. Okay, who are you? Oh, so you're studying me a judge too? That's because of a juniper. Are you a friend of hers? Juniper? Sure, she's my friend. That's why I'm gathering info. Them. Now, tell me all you know. You know, for tomorrow's trial. For tomorrow's trial? What are you talking about? I'm gonna take the stand, naturally. So the witness, so the witness of prosecution is some weirdo in a cardboard box? This disguise is how I get my scoops. But you're right, it's me. So tell me everything you know for Juniper's sake. Wait a sec, Miriam. Repeat what you just said. A lawyer with brains as bad as his ears. Poor Juniper. I'm taking the stand tomorrow. Tell me everything you know for Juniper's sake. Clear enough for this time. Oh no. Not again. I thought so. I think my bracelet's reacting. Really? That means a lie already? That was quick. <sighs> Here we go. Okay, well, like, it, it, can, it can either be her, it's either her hands or her, her eyes. And we can't even see her eyes. Oh, wait, we, we can see her eyes. It's, it's one of these three locations. Oh, oh, there's something there. She, she's clenching the box. That's strange. You suddenly tightened your grip when you said for Juniper's sake. It's like you subconsciously tensed up because you're lying. What? What? What are you talking about? When did I ever lie? Okay, then let me ask you this. Why and why were you selected as a witness? That's an easy one. I'm the editor in chief of Themes Herald. I know everything there is to know around campus, even the darkest of secrets. Editor in chief, huh? Pretty impressive. Yeah, well, it's a lonely one-woman operation. I do it all myself from reporting to editing to publishing. Still impressed. I'm a perfect storm of journalism because I bring it all to the table. And this is the evidence. An extra addition to the theme, Sarah, published again inside with the mock trial. Okay. That's cool. Thanks, Miriam. You reveal who you truly are. Someone who's never had Juni's best interest in mind. What? Are you questioning our friendship? Look, you may want answers, but no can do, because what you're seeing conflicts with this piece of evidence right here. Take that! That's the Themes Herald paper. The people I published, what about it? Are you really that dense? The article's full of malicious lies about Juni! 
It's evident that something a true friend of hers would write. You got it all wrong. Another staff member wrote that one. I don't think so, Miriam. You even said it yourself just a moment ago. It's a one-woman operation. What did you forget already? If you just give me the info you have. Stupid pond juniper just uses it you. Well then. Now, I want the truth, Miriam. You hide in your box in order to collect out for your sleazy paper. Isn't that right? You're not really friends with Juniper, are you? So dash, she's a target of my scoops and my readers to make dirt. Extracts to the dirty little secret of the squeaky clean student council president. Dirty little secret? Alright, what are you planning to say in court, huh? I'm a, I'm a witness to a part in the crime. I'm gonna tell it all in a shocking expose. The end justifies the means. That's my brain of all journalism. The end justifies the means? Wait a second. In this, in this dark age of the law, many of us embrace oppressive means methods, even future judges. I've even adopted an end justifies the means brand of journalism, which includes tape recorders secretly hidden all over our campus. Secretly recording every last word without anyone ever being able the wiser. Doesn't she realize it's totally illegal? And one of them was in the scene of the crime, the art room. You put a tape recorder in the art room? What did it record? S you wanna know? You really wanna know? Yes, please. S like I'd really tell you now. The big scoop comes out to court tomorrow. S you're so mean, Miriam. According to my evidence, a fatal fissure had opened between the three of them. Who? Junie, Hi, and Robin? I, s I said hi. Hugh and Robin? What? Juniper, Hugh, and Robin used to be the best of friends. Used to be? They still seem to get along fine. I did send some Discord, though. S you don't know anything. Professor Means and his Professor Means and his followers in perfect court at hers. Their influence is inescapable. Are you implying that one of them adheres to the extreme idea that you and Professor Means have? Why would anyone follow that philosophy? S how could you possibly understand? You're new around here. Myriam, would you feel better if you came out of the dark and into the light? S I can see fine in here. You'll be going seeing the light in court tomorrow. Then you realize how guilty Juniper Woods is. Ah, uh, we're gonna have to cross examine her tomorrow, but I don't know where to start. Well, let's at least take care of whatever we can today. You're right, let's see what else we can find out. Well, the first thing I want to do is go talk to... Because we haven't actually spoken to our client yet, so let's go... We can't go to the detention center. Alright, forget that plan. Uh, where else can we go? We can go back to the lecture hall, I guess. October 24th, Union's Legal Academy, 3rd Lecture Hall. Look, it's Hugh! Hey, Hugh! Oh, it's you two. Do you want something? Did you find anything? Nope, nothing yet. I'm afraid it's not looking very good for Juniper. You don't really think Juniper could have done something like this, do you? Only the author and the victim knew the contents of the script. Or well, the stage and the art room were in the exact same state as described therein. Nobody could mighten with a crime like that unless they already read the script or wrote it. But what? Look, for some means, is better able to handle this than you to just leave, him to, leave it to him. There it is again. I pick up some discord in Hugh's voice. Okay, so what do you have to say is interesting? Hugh, would you mind telling me, you mind telling me a little about yourself? <laughs> Whatever, I'm six foot one under this uniform, 100% lean muscle. My grades are outstanding and I'm the ace of the archery club. Needless to say, I never miss my mark. Oh, I'm incredibly humble too. Uh huh! How can you even say it with a straight face? Does Ramon really call me a genius? I pay them no mind. But when it comes to tests, I always get 100%, so I suppose it's only natural for them to say I'm a genius. Book smart wise, certainly. But as I said before, I paid him no mind. I heard you the first time. But what about the mock trial? It sounded like you were about to lose to Robin. Heh, <laughs> there's a very good reason for that. You see, right before the mock trial started, I saw the body. You saw the body? For I know so destroyed, I basically handed Robin a victory. Mm-hmm. A likely story. Right before the mock trial, the campus was empty. Everyone was here in the... Yeah, 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 we already heard this the first time. That's right, there was that announcement and then everyone came in here. The only exceptions were the mock trial participants. Gina, but Robin and I were in our personal dressing rooms next door. Well, your own personal dressing room is total VIP treatment. Actually, they're for student-teacher meetings, they don't even have windows. The other two waited patiently in their room, but that's not my style. So I headed over to the archery range on the other side of the quad. I did some meditation while I waited. That's my best way to relax. And just before the mock trial was to start, I headed back toward the main building. I 
As I walked across the court, I passed in front of the stage. So that's when you saw the body? Right, it was quite a shock. As much as I hate to admit it, my legs were shaking. Could have easily beaten Robin if it hadn't been for that. Wait, hold it right there. You went through with the march route even though you just discovered a body? Why didn't you tell anyone? I mean, we're talking about someone getting killed here. I think I know why. Was it because of this? Yeah, where'd you get that? So this article in the Thieves Herald is true. The winner of the mock trial would get to make his confession to Junie. Right, but if I reported the body I'd found, the whole thing would be called off. He really wanted to, he really wanted to win that bad? Bad enough to ignore a dead body? Sorry, but that's not normal. Could their love for Junie really be that strong? Thanks for sharing the important piece of information with us. It may prove useful tomorrow's trial. Good, because that's all I had to say about the matter. Thanks, and don't worry, we'll prove Juniper's innocence. You'll see. <laughs> I can't say you to inspire much confidence. Apollo, I totally understand, but Athena, Athena seems to have her stuff together. She seems incredibly competent from the past, from the past three cases. Well, four, actually, yeah, this is our fourth case working with her. But Apollo got f***ed over in the last case, and rightfully so. And we didn't play with him in the first case, but cases one, two, three, like, one, two special, and this case, all seem to feature Athena pretty heavily, so she's been doing really well so far. Okay, Athena, what's next? Uh, leaving? Can we actually go to the, we still can go to the detention center. We should, we should probably actually go to the new area now that I think about it. Like, we haven't actually gone here yet. So this, so this is the maintenance area. Let's see, during the mock mock trial, Prosecutor Gavin said, The argument is right above here on the third floor. And that the body was dropped from there onto, onto a high jump map in the storehouse. Right, and then he claimed the body was transported to the stage in a ball cart, both of which are in the garage right there. And then, and something else here. Hey, it's Robin! Whoa, he's scared the crap out of me! Yikes, right back at you, so what are you doing out here? I'm working out so I can become strong enough to save Juniper! But I'm so worked up, my brain brain's almost breaking at the seams! Alright, the girl out you like got arrested, so you're slinging yourself up to rescue her? <laughs> yes, yeah, because I'm the manliest of manly men! That's why I work on my manly brace! Oh, you're gonna be a joy to be around. Except that I hear some discord in that manliest man voice of yours. I don't mean to be rude, but can you talk without shouting, Apollo? I... I <laughs> It's just not at all possible by the sound of it. Um, so do you mind if I ask you some questions as Junie's lawyer? No problem, ask away, keep it going! Ouch, my ears already hurt. Okay, let's, let's make this quick. Quick and painless. Or at least as painless as it can be. Papa, can you tell me a little more about yourself? You wanna know about me? I'm a second degree member of the Fine Arts Club! The Fight! The, the Fine Arts Club? It's like broken pottery is a- Yeah, we already, we already saw all this. Say, did you create those stage statues by any chance? You bet I did! Both of them put my blood, sweat, and tears into those things, man! I must have been terrible seeing them all smashed up like that. Nah, I couldn't face Professor Corner by letting someone something like that get me down. What do you mean? Professor Corner was the Fine Arts Club advisor. She was all about truth and beauty, man! She always said the only good result is the truth, and that and only learn to see the truth and legitimate means produce worthwhile results. Yikes, I'm totally on you guys' side. She must have been an incredible woman. Yeesh, you call me when I practice my cords of steel. Yeah, Apollo's now taking second place in terms of loudness, which I'd never think I'd never thought I'd see the day. No oh, man, why did I have to take the prosecutor course? I mean, how am I supposed to save Juniper from sending me a prosecutor? Don't worry, I'll, I'll clear Juni's name, you'll see. Three of us had a dream, we swore we'd make it happen together! Prosecutor, lawyer, judge, three of us would hold fair and honest trials. The dark of the law, ha! We were gonna put a nail in its coffin, man! Wow, you guys swore to do that? But no, the stupid school had to ruin it! School rule, which one? Anyone with a prior conviction, no matter how minor the offense, they won't! They won't be allowed to graduate from the stupid holier-than-thou school! A, a tough legal academy with even tougher rules. June will never become a judge- June will never become a judge unless I can prove her innocence. And if I fail, the three of them will never realize their dream. It sounds like someone put pressure on my pressure. Well, I think I've talked to everyone who has somehow linked to the- Except your client! You forgot about one person, like, okay, maybe it's time to wrap- Yeah, 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 you gotta talk to the client at all? Yeah. Oh, wait! We just haven't gone to the detention center yet. Yeah, you're right. Let's head over to the detention center. With pleasure. Okay, detention center. This is Fina. Thank you so much for coming. She calls me Fina like she used to. Maybe she's finally letting her guard down. Junie, the crime's unfolding exactly like your script. Any idea what's going on here? We wanted to make it fair, so the script was kept secret until the day of the mock trial. The only people who knew the details were Professor Cord and I. Hmm, I think we haven't heard already. How however... Yes? What is it, Junie? Well, there was this one article in the school paper. You mean this one? It's more like a tabloid piece on a newspaper article, if you ask me. If 
been worried the trial would wreck the friendship between Robin, you and me. She wants to stay friends. She wants to stay friends with both of the guys are hoping to take it to the next level. Oh, the passion of high school drama. Wish I could have experienced it. I, I know I shouldn't have, but I revised the script to favor the prosecution. But Professor Cordenos and immediately and changed it back. Ah, so if Robin had won, Hugh wouldn't have been able to confess his love to Junie. That would have kept the trio's relationship in the same. Now we know Junie could be so devious. Sorry, I guess personal problems probably could, won't be of any help in court, huh? You never know. Help often comes from the most unexpected places. Thanks, Juniper. I was, I was wondering why about that all you had in you when you were arrested. It's it's, it's um, it is a little annoying that there's so many flashbacks because it's like my memory isn't that pathetic. I remember what happened within the hour, but eh, it's, it's whatever. I I, I I get I get the I, I get the sense that you're not supposed to play the sections by save screen. Like I get the sense that you're supposed to break it up a little bit, but I like so I I've always done the episodes where from between one save screen to the next is is the episode. So investigation start. Investigation ends with the with the next save screen and it loops like that. So I guess you're not supposed to play it like that. So that might be why there's so many flashbacks. But at the same time, it's kind of like, ugh. Anyway, I didn't realize I still had all me until I was arrested. Then we have nothing to worry about. There shouldn't be any way to link it to the crime. Also, uh, I, I I forgot to mention this, but if there's record, if there's a a method around the school that record like the, the 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 box guy, freaking scuttlebutt, whatever his name, whatever her name was, uh has a has recording device all over the school then anybody could have known what the contents of that script were so that doesn't really hold any weight anymore then we don't worry about it there shouldn't be any way linked to the crime still a blood red color and they all bothers me was it just paint or something i mean i, I was looking at it pretty far away but it probably was just paint but that's what bothers me it wasn't on the all when we were prepping it yesterday it wasn't and how and when did it get there well before the mock trial began i showed the and mr right to the waiting room I went back to my dressing room to get the trial props we were going to use. It's when I found the art room key. And the all with what look at blah on it. A key? And the all? Professor Cord no normally has the art room key since she's the fine arts club advisor. Since the key was there in the dressing room, I thought she was the one who had painted the all to look like it had blood on it. After all, she really always insisted the props should be realistic, so... The all suddenly the all suddenly showed up on the day of the trial with what looked like blood on it? I have a really bad feeling about this. Me too, but let's not jump the gun on this. You and Professor Court were busy preparing for the mock trial together yesterday, right? Was that the last time you saw her? Yes, I left school around 6 p.m. Did you notice anything different about her? No, I didn't notice anything out of the ordinary. She looked and acted the same as always. I would have never guessed she'd end up like this. Looked like we're out of time. Thank you for coming to see me. We'll do everything we can to prove you in, a, in tomorrow. I know. I believe in you, Athena. Well, I should go now. Bye. Is she going to be all right? She's like a shadow of the girl we met back in the academy. The junior I knew was always like that, a little weak and sickly. But the fact that she's lifted for her facade shows that she trusts us. Even still, what is it? Well, when Junie and her two friends were talking about the friendship, I sensed some discord in their hearts. Seriously? Yeah, but it was really faint. I might have been mistaken. There's no reason to doubt their friendship. Is there? Don't worry, everything will be fine. You and Junior were friends, right? You know that friend I mentioned to you earlier? Well, get this. Whenever something's troubling one of us, the other can just feel it. That's real friendship. I suppose you're right. Maybe we'll forget about that and concentrate on the trial. Yep, tomorrow's the big day. Let's sort out what we know so far. Okay. The victim of Professor Constant Court was murdered in the art room on the third floor, and her body was moved to the outdoor stage in the quad. Also, the location where we found the body was just the mock trial script described. I wish those were the only symbols they shared. What do you mean? What I mean is the script in the case are exactly the same in almost every respect, so it follows the actual trial may very well unfold, just like the mock trial then. Oh no, the mock trial ended before, before, before the prosecutor was about to win. Well, that's not going to happen. This time, Junie will be declared not guilty. Of course, I intend to get our results the honest way. We can do this. We'll be fine. After all, I have Apollo, and he's the king of being fine. <laughs> yeah, but he's not the king of much else. Alright, this case is off to a pretty good start. So with the exception of Clavier, all the characters seem. Oh, actually, okay. So sorry. Clavier is just Clavier. You can't. You can't. It, 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 she's, she's just. He. He. He came out of the hellhole that was Apologist Ace Attorney. He was destined to suck in this case. But um. Newman, Robin, whatever his name is, might get on my nerves just because he's so loud. But the core 
I, I can see the, the dynamic between the three friends becoming uh, really emotional later, so I, I think that, 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 that has the potential to be incredible. The, the only thing that, that worries me is the, the idea of sticking close to the mock trial, because remember in Turnabout Serenade in the last game where they did the whole, it follows, the murder follows the lyrics of the song, and how stupid that was? The way they can fix that this time is if they make it so that the reason why, because the 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 reason why it's that Junipers was accused is because it, she's the only person who knows the context, the contents of that script, and so it could be a way. It's just like I I I followed it. I did it this way to frame her because like who else would have known about it? So if they go for that specific angle, it could work. If they if they just like if it's just like I don't know, I followed it because lol, why not? Then it's like, okay, you, you're no better than Turnabout Serenade in that regard. But I have high hopes. I have high hopes for this case this time. Because this game seems so extremely more competent than the last game. So, that'll be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. See you in the next to catch you all tomorrow for some more. Phoenix Race Attorney Dual Destinies. Goodbye.